So I was filling in some forms a couple of days ago. And these forms were quite standard forms and I'm sure you've seen something quite similar yourself. Um, they asked a number of interesting questions about me, questions that were surely designed to somehow boost equalities policies. One question, for instance, was about my ethnicity and it gave me certain options. It said, am I white British? I think white Polish was an option. Might have been white traveler. And I think there were a few other options and then there was black Caribbean, black African. And then uh, overall, there was a number of different options about what my ethnicity was. This is all perfectly reasonable, you'd imagine. Then there was a question about my gender. Again, fairly reasonable questions about my gender. No problem with that. But the first question, of course, was, am I uh, male? And then do I consider myself female? And then uh, non-binary? And there was a couple of other options on the list. So you can see there's a few options that we're able to choose from. And then it came to the question, do you consider yourself disabled? Interestingly, on this particular question, the options were yes or no. Now, that's really interesting, because I'm going to suggest that this question about disability is probably the most obviously non-binary question of them all, and probably also the most immediately and impactful non-binary question of them all. When it comes, for instance, when it comes to work, my level of disability or not is surely more immediately impactful than my gender or my ethnicity for most jobs. And also, I think, it's more obviously non-binary than my gender or my ethnicity, although we can argue they're non-binary as well. Why do I say this? Well, first of all, let's just have a very quick examination of what we might mean by non-binary. So first of all, there may actually be uh, two different understandings of what we mean by non-binary. The first understanding may be that there are actually binaries. There could be black and white, for instance. There could be organic and inorganic. Things like this. And these could be two understand these and these these could be two binaries. These could be two polar opposites. And one understanding of non-binary is that either you don't fit either of these polar opposites, you're somewhere in between, or it could be perhaps that you move between these polar opposites at different times. Or it could be that you're at one at one point and another at another point, or, or something along those lines. But essentially, the, this idea of non-binary is that there are binaries and you don't fit the binary scale in a traditional way. That's fair enough. A woman called Valerius in 2010 talked about bi-ability, and this does in fact seem to be one way of looking at non-binary. And she talked about maybe dyslexic people have bi-ability, they fit into the dyslexic world and the non-dyslexic world. They, you might look at them as disabled or not disabled depending on the context. This is one way of looking at non-binary. Here's another understanding of what non-binary might mean though. Another understanding of what non-binary might mean is that actually the notion of binaries themselves is inappropriate. Let's just give this a little bit of thought. So the first simple understanding of this is that um, you could say that the binaries are not true binaries. So on the one hand you could say um, that the binary of healthy and unhealthy. Well what is it to be 100% healthy? And what is it to be 100% unhealthy? I mean I guess that might be dead, but I don't think that's what people might mean. Uh, and similarly with, with disabled and, and abled. I don't know what it would mean to be 100% abled and 100% disabled. They're not obvious. Another um, understanding of, of non-binary is that it could simply be that actually the binaries are not binaries at all. It's not only that they don't quite quite meet the paradigm of a binary, like left and right, you know, they might appear to be binaries, but what is it to be 100% left, 100% right, 100% healthy, 100% unhealthy? These sort of, you can at least understand them as binaries. Another version might be that there may be incommensurate binaries, so tree and cat, these are not binaries. Well, when we apply these notions of, of what we mean by binary to things like, are we disabled? we start to notice that actually 
every single one of us has troubles. Every single one of us has struggles. Every single one of us has issues. I'm dyslexic, I'm dyspraxic, I have dyscalculia, ADHD. These are issues of mine. But am I disabled? Well, I don't think of myself as, as disabled. I've never thought of myself as disabled. But there are areas I need help with. There are areas where I might need support, where I might need some scaffolding. Um, in which, in these areas, other people might not need scaffolding. But of course, I don't know anybody who needs no support whatsoever, or who hasn't got any troubles or any challenges. Um, be they mental health, or be they health, or be they functional challenges, in whatever way, we may need some form of support and some form of challenges. So I don't believe that any one of us is not in some way disabled, but that doesn't mean that we're able or disabled. I just don't think that these binaries make that much sense. And one of the things that comes from this, of course, is that when you're talking to HR professionals or, rec or recruitment agents, and they ask you this question, do you consider yourself disabled? It may be the right answer. Instead of saying yes or no, which are quite difficult questions, because I never like that question, it may be a more appropriate thing to simply say, I don't think that's the right question. I think we need to start re-examining that question. I am very much non-binary in this sense. So it genuinely strikes me that when we talk about able and disabled, we're using the wrong language. And when we use the wrong language, what we're doing is we're imposing an idea on people that they may be disabled in some way. We're essentially imposing a normative idea of ability onto people. And this is a, a dangerous thing to do. Because when we start encouraging people to think about themselves as possibly disabled because they're dyslexic, then we do actually start to disable them. The language we use is important. And we need to start thinking seriously. When we ask people, do you think of yourself as disabled? We're already importing this notion of the norm of ability and the norm of disability. We're importing these ideas into people's subconscious, essentially, and making them think about themselves in terms of ability and in terms of disability. And this isn't a healthy thing to do, nor is it healthy for society. Because as soon as we start creating a society which thinks about people in terms of disabled and abled, when actually each one of us needs some form of support, then we start creating an unhealthy society. We start creating essentially a disabled society. And this is the wrong way to go about society, workplace, education, and interpersonal relationships. What we need to do is question this notion of disabled, this binary notion of disabled, because I would argue that absolutely everybody, especially those of us who are dyslexic, when we're asked this question, the right way to think about it is actually I'm non-binary. I don't think those binaries are appropriate to me. And once we start thinking in those terms, we can get rid of this idea of disability and start thinking about human ability and human needs. Thank you very much. I hope you found this important. It is an important subject because remember, as we say, if we start using the wrong language about people, we're starting to use the wrong normative approach towards people. And this can alter the way, it can effect effect effectively pervert the way we look at people, pervert the way they look at themselves, and pervert the way that society operates. Please write to us and get into the conversation. Do you consider yourself disabled? Do you consider yourself abled? Do you think it's the right language to use? And if you don't, drop us a comment. Thanks very much.